Stuart Nettlefold, CEO of Business Events Tasmania. Welcome to VETV. Thank you. Um, tell me about what's happening in Tasmania. Oh, look, look, Tasmania is a, is a great destination for business events. Um, we, look, we're well known for our friendliness of, of the people, uh, for our, our great service, um, excellent facilities, and it's a beautiful option for, for pre and post touring. So uh, overall, um, the Tasmanian brand is, is strong and vibrant, so we're using that to our advantage to get business events into the destination. And what have you got going this year for uh, you know activities or events or conferences or anything um, that's exciting? Yeah, look, we've got a pretty full calendar for the year, and uh, you know, and that more or less kicks in pretty solidly from May right through until December later this year. Um, we, we you know varies from um, typically an association conference anywhere up to 1,100 packs. Um, we're also doing some good work in the corporate incentive area where we have some wonderful offerings on the east coast of Tasmania uh, and the northwest and west coast. So very diverse in what we offer. Um, the food and wine offering is also um, really creating a bit of airwaves too. So, Tell me some of the activities for pre and post tours. Oh, look, look, the state has um, some wonderful beaches, mountains, wilderness. Um, what we're starting to see now is a really strong arts and culture uh, awareness, particularly with Mona, uh, the, the Museum of New and Old Art. So, so that's really created um, a lot of airwaves and put Tasmania on the map both nationally and internationally. Yeah, tell us a bit about that. That's uh, there's a bit of story behind that, isn't there? Uh, look, look, there is, and it's uh, it's only 20 minutes from Hobart. You can go there by boat up the Duant River or by car, and it, it's it's essentially looking at um, you know uh, sex and death. Uh, so, so so some people find that confronting. Not bad topics. <laughs> Others find it very appealing, but uh, also great for us too because it it, it can house off-site dinners. Uh, cocktail parties and uh, and get there by water and see the lovely aspects of Hobart as well. Fantastic. And anything else that's uh, exciting in Tasmania? Oh, look, we, we always welcome delegates with uh, with, with open arms. And uh, as I said, Tasmania is it's a beautiful destination. Uh, Hobart and Launceston, the conference facilities uh, are very close to the hotel, so we're in walking distance and on the beautiful waterfront with a, a lovely mountain as a backdrop. So. Uh, what we find is that people like to get out of the big cities and come to a destination like Tasmania. And roughly how many days do they actually spend their pre and post tour? Uh, what we know from our research is that a delegate stays about 5.7 days. So three of those are for the conference and then the other 2.7 is for the pre and post touring. What we also know is that uh, about 94% would recommend it as a place to visit and 65% want to come back for a holiday in three years' time. So, so there's some really good numbers that we work with the government, particularly the tourism agency, to, to sort of drive that process to, to get them back to our beautiful state. And the spirit of Tasmania? The spirit of Tasmania, well that goes into Devonport. So in some instances delegates do use the spirit. Um, there are you know, cases where they might bring their own car and then yes, go to the conference and then pre and post in their own vehicle. But predominantly, you know, our, our delegates come in by, by air, being a, an island state. The Variety Bash, uh, the Sydney New South Wales Variety Bash actually visited Tasmania on the spirit of Tasmania. Did you go to that? We did. Right, had a bit of fun? We did. We actually drank the boat dry. <laughs> Was that the highlight? Yep. <laughs>